Coach Saltu uh, exited like a very brief moment in the quarter. Um, yeah. Why, why did that happen? Shoulder. Yeah, she had to go back to the locker room because she, I mean, a lot of people don't realize that she's not 100%. Kalani's not 100%. She's limited minutes. And so it's just one of those things, you know what I mean? But we did start too slow. We we know that. We kicked it in the second half, but we just got to, we got to come in that first quarter and really establish ourselves. Uh, Coach, I know you said the team got off to a slow start. Uh, how do you regroup after a performance like this to get ready for Friday's game? Get back in the gym. Yeah, get back in the gym, watch film, and they know. I mean, it, trust me, they are professional athletes. They care about this game and what we're doing, and we'll go back and watch, and they're not satisfied either. They know. They, they, they know. They feel like we all do that we could have won that game. Coach, we talked about the uh, officiating in the league. You're and, trying to get me fined, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I said. <laughs> and I want to. But it seems like, I, I've said this before in the press conference, but it seems like they don't know how to call a game when T and yeah. Connie is in there. At what point do you guys, I don't know, maybe <laughs> talk to the league about what's going on over the last couple of years? Or what do you do? At what point do you get frustrated and say enough is enough? Well, <laughs> well, let me say this, okay? We have we evaluate, I do, the officials after every game. I get a text message that says it. I send in clips. Travis, our assistant general manager, um, sends in clips um, after every game. And that's all we can do. All we can do. The quarter here from the 9450 tier. Um, you had a pretty strong performance tonight, uh, 20 and 13. Yeah. Um, what was your approach tonight? You know, dominating the paint like you do. And also, I want to talk a little bit about, you know, what Coach was talking about. I know there seems one play where you got fired real hard and you was kind of talking to the ref. Uh, what was that conversation like? Um, so I've been, oh, no, I've been slacking the last few games. So I knew my teammates had just been boosting me up, saying I got it, you know, just going to do what I do. So tonight I came out, and, you know, I should back a little bit. But as far as the rest, I have nothing to say to them. Nothing. Uh, Kalani, uh, how would you assess just the team's overall performance? Obviously, you guys didn't win the game you wanted to, but how would you assess the team's overall performance today? Um, we can't come out the way we started. It was flat. Um, we were relaxed, like we're not trying to make playoffs, and I think we are we got on each other about that. But you, Washington's a well-coached team. You can't come out against well-coached teams like that. They're not going to let you out of the hole. So, um we just need to reevaluate the way we start our energy when we come out um, because we are trying to get into playoffs, so we need to act like it. Rob, go ahead. You know, aside from what my coach said about going back to the gym in terms of like trying to regroup, what else worked in the second half that you feel like you can take away from tonight and get ready to use against Atlanta? Mm -hmm. um, just hitting people first, being physical. She continuing to play the way she planned um, and me coming off and being a spark on the bench, um, just being aggressive in the paint um, and offensive rebounding. Uh, when we play inside out, we were a really dangerous mm -hmm. team. So we just got to, when we get to that, we got to just stay with that and stick with that. All right. Uh, 50 points off of the bench for Washington. What makes them so tough to contain? Is that a question for? Uh, coach. Yeah, one of the things that they do really well is shoot the basketball. I mean, we know that. I mean, they're number one in the league in, in three pointers made, and so they can space the floor extremely well. Put teams in rotation. Sold with, but again, that uh, that's what makes them deadly. And it's from first five to what they want to accomplish, and they have the players that that fit that. Thank you. Coach, yeah. I'm sorry, I want to ask you again. I just not saw too. Um, with the injury, what are you where is she at? I know you said she's not hundred percent. How close do you think she is to one hundred percent? And how do you guys plan to like just you know monitor it moving forward? Yeah, that's what's tough about it. Because for coaches, of course, we want to get in the gym and grind, right? And especially coming off of this, but um our season's been so wild just because 
you know, injuries are not 100%. So we just got to watch film for the ones that can doing, um, practice them one that, that can, and um, we're capable. We're capable. But I got to give Kalani credit too. I'm not going to mention your stuff, but, you know, she's battling right now with some things and she comes in and gives all she can. And, and uh, I, I think these two right here, the best league bigs in the league. And you got to say a lot about what they're having to do uh, coming around the perimeter, getting inside, getting just pounding a hammer. And so for what they do to, to, to keep after it and keep producing like they are says a lot about them. And I'm glad they're on our team. Coach, Coach I just wanted to ask about the positives you can build on going forward. And then uh, I know in the feed, Arika's not satisfied, but again, she said another uh, for the, the, I guess, the record in Wings history for most free throws. Yeah. I mean, you want to talk about the positives? Um, five and double digits. You know, we out rebounded them again. Um, points in the paint, 48 to 24. Um, fast break points, we didn't do too well, but Clawney, 10 plus points for the second time in the last three games. T, 11th double-double. That's something that, you know, she wanted to do coming in to this, even this season to get more. Third 20-point game of the year, out, you know, out-rebounded for the 19th time, but it still, it, you can say those things, but Still leaves a bad taste just because you know you could have won. We just got to start better. And I and I know, I know that we'll bounce back from this. 